this. Anyway, so this is the suspension spring of this clock. It broke off, but I have a new suspension spring in it. Bet you guys didn't know that. Well, yay, it works now. Okay, guys, so if you didn't know, August, August 30th is my birthday. And today is August 30th, so I got some new clocks for my birthday. Yay! Alright, so first we'll be doing this clock. Alright, so this clock my Nana got me. It's a Sessions Electric Mail clock. My Nana got it for me at um, an antique shop at a beach. And she just really thought of me, and she, so... She got this for me for my birthday, and then, and then she found this clock at a state sale. She packed both of these ones in a in in a box, and she waited in for like months and and waited for my birthday. And here we are, we're here. All right, and this one is not functional, so so it doesn't run, as you can see. It's really slow when it's chiming, so. That's what it sounds like, yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna muffle that. That kind of sounds scary. I actually call this clock the death clock, because it sounds like that. And there's, there's another. There's, there's a better look at the face. All right, now let's go to the other clocks. All right, guys, so. So we have this, ta-da, Sessions Timber Mantle Clock. Here's the key. And two winning holes. And it's really good. It's a really cool clock. Clock. It's a really cool clock. Oh, sorry, I'm just gonna open this. It's gonna shine me. Yeah, it's a really cool clock. It's already on the correct strike, so I'm just gonna show you, show you the inside of it. All right, successfully got it over without raining the beat. All right. All right, there's the pendulum. And there's the instructions. The instructions are really good in good shape for this type of old clock. It means it dings on one rod. I don't know if you can see that. Here, let me turn on flash. Yep. On that chain block, there's a second hole. I think this used to be a Bim Bam um, um, clock, but uh, or Sessions just stripped, or Sessions just um, um, stripped out that second chime rod and then just left this one in. Anyways, let me let you hear it. where the bim bam would be so this would be the bim bim then the bam would be over there but yeah this is a very nice clock compact shape really 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 like that and i love the sound and we got this at an antique mall all right you guys are gonna love this next one yep it's a cuckoo clock it's having troubles with the door. It's having troubles closing the door. Anyways, these things move, but I'm not gonna, the gong is, is it, the hammer isn't really hitting it very good. So what, I'm just gonna, these things move and they are controlled by the bellows. So let me just do the bellows so you can hear it. That's what that one sounds like. You got your true weights. This is an eight day clock. And I weighed them in, so this one was the lightest. So it would go on the cuckoo clock thing, cuckoo clock.
cuckoo clock chain, and then this one was the heaviest, so I hung it on the time I'm hook. All right, those are all all the the clocks ox that I got for my birthday. Yay! Oh, by the way, the headpiece it 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 hangs on there, but it currently is broken to pieces right now, so we're gluing that back together. It fell off the um the fireplace as we were hanging it hanging it on the wall. Oh, oh, because we didn't realize that that it was just that it, that we thought it was like glued onto there, but no, it was actually a top piece that you put onto there. Yeah. But we'll do a video when we get the headpiece on there. Anyways, bye guys.